There are only three places that I ever get lost. Ikea, my own thoughts when I'm thinking about my financial future, and deep in the groove. So today we're talking a little bit of bass. All about bass today. Sonic Cake has sent me this pedal. It is called the B Factory. It does a lot of stuff. I thought maybe I could use this as an opportunity to demo the pedal and talk a little bit about bass in general, okay? First rule about bass is if you're a guitar player playing bass, don't use a pick on camera. Otherwise, you'll get flamed by real bass players. But we are going to talk a little bit about using a pick, but I always think that you get better tone from your fingers anyway. So anyways, this is how it sounds without the pedal on. This is just direct in Fender, turn on the B Factory, and now you're going to hear a volume boost, but I want to talk a little bit about what's happening. All right. So what we have here, we have overall volume, which is why you heard the volume boost because the volume is up. I was kind of messing around with uh, the interface just to get levels a second ago. So that's why the volume is boosted a little bit. You have two sides of this pedal on and off and then drive for like a distortion. You have three band EQ, a compressor and a blend. Okay. So right now the compressor is on when I turn it on. And then, you know, here we can bring it all the way down. So this is you can maybe hear a little difference between the lowest note and the highest note, whereas if I crank that compressor all the way up, see how it's kind of come down a little bit, and now we have more of like an even sound. Again, I like to kind of have this particular compressor dialed back to about right there. And I think that sounds pretty good, okay? Now, the first thing I want to do is just do this in context. So I have a loop, a drum loop loaded up here. Let's listen to it. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to boost the bass up, but not destroy the level that I have set. So I'm gonna boost the bass up, I'm gonna take the mids down, and then roll the volume back a little bit. Okay, now, still a good, still a good signal. Let's bring the drum beat back in. Again, I think that's like a really good sound. So this is how I would set this pedal up just in and of itself. Uh, real quick, if you just want to hear a bass without any treble. Kind of sounds woofy, right? Which especially in a busier mix, like with actual guitars and stuff, is probably something you might want to explore, taking the treble out. But especially with this, like this is a Fender kind of P bass, jazz bass combo, depending on how you have it set up. And that is that is like the perfect bass sound for what I like to do. Now, what you might might be what you like might be totally different. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the drive here. Okay, so let's engage the drive, bring the volume way back, and then now we've got that kind of like. And now it's like, all right, in this context, maybe I want to bring some of the mids and highs back in. So let's go back to even-ish. This is where it's acceptable to use a pick, in my opinion. And again, use a pick whenever you want to. Here's what actual bass players think versus guitar players, but... So there's a lot of rock based stuff that has distortion that I think sounds so good. So here's again, distorted bass driven hard with a pick versus maybe your fingers. Okay, it cleans it up a lot. So 
So uh, Muse would be a great example of a band that uses distorted bass to the absolute best of its abilities. Uh, let's bring the drum track back in. Put the drive back on. This pedal is awesome. I, I like how they have both sides of it because you can also blend in the drive. I've got the drive all the way up. And then you can use this knob to blend it. So now I'm still with, I still have the drive engaged, but you're not hearing any of it. So as I bring the blend in, there's his 50%. Or all the way in. And then you can just engage or disengage with just that. So. Again, I like having the drive all the way. If I'm going to use it, maybe I'll back it. Yeah, 50%. I feel like... I feel like that sounds pretty good. Bring that volume back up. up so good treble all the way up add some high end you notice you get that kind of like that maybe like for chords you want to add the treble back in especially with that high end stuff right Again, with uh, the treble out and just bass. Or we could just go even and then just kind of hear exactly what the P bass sounds like. Again, I'm, I'm always a fan of just boosting the bass on the bass because that is what it's for. So good, am I right? So again, Sonic Cake has been a really good supporter of the channel. I've done a lot of Sonic Cake videos. Another cool thing about this pedal specifically is it also has an XLR out. So perfect for recording or if maybe you wanna to go to an amp with the quarter inch out and then to an interface and track with uh, the XLR out. But as you can hear, it, it only enhances the sound of the bass. It doesn't add any noise, as far as I can tell, to the signal, right? This is just me volume up pretty high. I love how this shakes the cymbals in the room too, which is great to just annoy your drummer friends. And uh, yeah, so little noise, if any, which is very, very impressive in a pedal at this price point. So if you have a bass, definitely consider one of these because you can get such a wide variety of tones with just the three band EQ and the drive and also a built-in compressor. So it really does a great job of just like replacing any other pedals that you might ever need with a bass whether you're performing live or tracking or doing anything like that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll have an affiliate link in the description. Thanks to Sonic Cake again for sending it over. And, uh, oh my gosh, it sounds so good. One more, one last quick thing about playing with a pick. The nice thing is, is it's, I think it's so much easier to palm mute. 
Whereas maybe if you want to have the drive on. There it is. Again, so that, that's I think the best way to use a pick in a bass is have the drive on and then just like knock it out. So anyways, it's always, bass is always my favorite instrument just to kind of like play and jam to just because once you get a nasty drum track going or like a cool track that you make yourself, so much fun. So like I said, one more time, thank you to Sound Cake. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I will talk to you guys soon.